of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there is no man better suited to the task. Really? I can think of several. Charles Lee. Accepted this arduous employment at the Do I know you? I would not expect you to remember. <laughs> I do not wish to make someone I want you to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away no, like that, I but not, the last thing we need is the is two of you coming to blows. Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed commander in chief, George Washington. Ah. So you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Charles Lee. You need to die, sir. So there we are. We just saw George Washington. Everyone knows, who's, everyone knows who he is. I hope so. If not... Ah, uh, I, I don't. Words cannot describe. You need to go to school, maybe. I or just any just. I I don't even know what to say if you don't know who that is and you're an American. Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next, and we need to get to work on our message message we must contact the broadsheets at once ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the loyalists who fired first in lexington but no one knows who fired first which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly we'll determine public opinion this seems dishonest perhaps but so what people must believe we acted in self-defense else we've committed treason but you have better to bow and scrape before a tyrant then is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. All right. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. No, no, no. So what are we on? Sequence A right now? I think there's like 13 sequences or maybe. A roughly 13 sequences, I believe. I'll have to look that up. Might be a little less. Might be a little more. I believe it's around 13. We'll see. We're getting there. I would have been a little farther if I uh, didn't have any of those issues like I've explained a couple episodes ago. We need to get down there. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and see if we can fast travel. Alright, so we need to get to, uh, where the fuck is the marker at? That's what I want to know. How do I use this shit again? Oh, yeah. Don't like using this shit. Alright, so what do we need? What are we doing? I'm here, but where's the... Oh, it's over here. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I did not see that. Can we fast travel? No, we cannot. That's okay. It's not that far away. I was going to think about climbing down these rocks and get to it, but so... 
Uh, maybe I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, sweet. My health would have re regened anyways, so... It would have been all good. We're just gonna make a dead sprint there. <laughs> Save some time, I'm honestly. You could probably take the trail down. If you had a horse, that would be very nice as well, but... Uh, I do not have that luxury right now of having a fucking horse. Having anything, actually, would be pretty nice. When do we get to the killings? That's what I'm curious about. When are we going to kill Charles Lee? When are we going to kill Hatham? Right? Hatham... What is his name? Hatham Kenway? Mr. Kenway needs to die. That was kind of a long cut. <laughs> Just keep going straight. I'm going to go up this hill. Because if you didn't, then you have to climb some rocks or find another way around. So, this is the way I'm taking. Seems to be the best way. Hey, there's a horse. Oh, right when I'm there, too. I don't need a horse now, assholes. Hold and stay your hey, it's me. You better not shoot me, dick. I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, let's get going. Probably gonna be another cutscene in a second. Once we get out of this. This is not Bunker Hill. Hi, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Yeah, I guess who's going to be delivering it? You guessed it. Me. It's a fucking storm out here. Damn. I think of that. I think that's thunder. I don't know what else that could be. Oh, it's probably the cannons. <laughs> Alright, that makes sense. Let's go up there and talk to him real fast. Probably gonna command another army, maybe. I don't know. Just assuming. and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. Oh my god, dude. This is awesome. I love the history in this game. This guy is sweet. You guys all know this, right? You should know it. It's our fucking national anthem. I believe that's what we're going to be doing. I believe. I could be wrong. I might be getting this mixed up with something else. But, uh... You... Okay, that's awesome. If this is going to be it, I'm, I'm sure this, I think that's, okay, I'm not going to say anything for sure because then I'm going to get some people saying, no, you're dumb, but uh, I believe this is what it's trying to represent here in a minute once we get on that ship and do our business. Sorry, sirs, I can't do anything to help you. I'm trying to avoid the red coat, so I'm kind of like going, trying to find the right paths. 
We can swim. Don't be afraid of the water. It's not gonna hurt you. So that saved us some time. If we would have went and fought with all the red cuts, that might have been a little time consuming. So definitely, this is definitely, uh, I would say, the, the better way to do it. We need to get rid of these British ships. Sorry if you're British, but you guys are going down, you Brits. And if you're British and watch this, I'm sorry. I didn't make the game. But you can tell Ubisoft is a, an American company, you know? Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way on the ship. Uh, perhaps we should go right here. Oh, damn, right next to the cannon. Oh, shit. Alright, bring it on, everyone. Oh, this is the big ass guy. Oh, we actually got him because in our combo. Oh, it was supposed to be. Oh, we remain undetected. I didn't even read those. Excuse me, guys. Oh, it doesn't matter. You know. Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and interact. There's something that said plant, and that's, that's what the interacting is doing. Let's go ahead and stand. Should we get off the ship or should we just stand back? Okay. I'm standing back. If he wants us off the ship and we die, well, then it should have said. I want you off the ship, and we did die. So they want us. They want you off the ship. Don't stand back. Get off the fucking ship. I don't get why they, that would be an option. Why would they just say get off the ship? They said stand back. Okay, maybe maybe I should have known better. I'm sorry, guys. I I just assumed. Okay. I guess I was wrong. My bad. I don't know why they would. Why they wouldn't just say. Never mind. Okay. Not even gonna get into that. Let's just continue. I was gonna air assault him, but this is obviously not gonna work because they know that I'm here. Maybe if I chill out up here, they'll go away. That wasn't that grenadier, but still works. If we really want to, we can get that grenadier any day. I get butchered, bitch. All right, plants. Now we're gonna get off the ship this time. We missed the optional objective again, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Stand back. Why would I say that? <laughs> I just found it hilarious. Why not say get off the ship? I bet I, I cannot be the only one that thinks that you're okay on the ship stuff. It did say stand back. Like, you know, I've already gave my rant about that. No need to continue. Let's just make our way to this other ship. I wonder why the, that optional objective didn't work for both. I mean, couldn't I do the same thing on this ship? Or maybe at least assass air assassinate a grenadier on this ship. I mean, what's what's the big deal? You can only do it on one of the ships. I don't know why. You know, unless there's not a grenadier on this one. That would make sense. But there is a grenadier on this one. That would just be stupid. I don't think there is. So far, I didn't see anyone. Oh, we got some other guy, though. So here's an officer. We'll see how, how I can kill him. He's going to be a bitch. What do I got to use against you, huh? He blocks every everything, so. Sweet. There we go. Get out of here. And let's just plant it and get the fuck off the ship. Plant that shit, man. Plant that shit. Escape the zone and become anonymous. Some are already anonymous, so we just need to escape the zone. 